What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. If you don't know who I am, that means you're new. I'm Mark. What's good with y'all? Go check out my other videos. Check them out. Check them out. But first, stay on this one. So I'm pretty excited about this video. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm pretty excited. So we're going to get right into it. No beating around the bush. Three reasons why I am against the background check system. Now, of course, if you guys don't know much about this channel, this is a Second Amendment channel, meaning I'm talking about the background check system when it comes to owning a firearm. I'm not talking about a background check system in regards to getting a job or anything along those lines. I do feel the need to express that part, even though a majority of the people who watch my channel already know what my channel's about because you guys watch it. Regardless, though, <coughs> that's for the new viewers, all right? So we're going to start off with reason number one, which is government incompetency. So keep in mind, guys, what the background check system does is it requires you to either fill out a 4473. I can't remember what the other form is, uh, but the point is that it requires you to fill out the 4473. And in my case, in the state of Florida, you know, they uh, then will send it off to the FDLE after you do that, not physically, but they'll have it scanned and then send an electronic copy over. And if the FDLE isn't too busy, they'll get back to you. You know what I mean? And of course, I'm aware, you know, that not every state is going through the FDLE, obviously, because in case you don't know, FDLE is the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. But I digress. That really has nothing to do with my main point. My point is, is that sometimes they're either busy. Sometimes they just don't want to do the work. Sometimes they don't know how to do the work. So, I mean, in the end, when you're dealing with something that really can be broken down to human error, once again, which is another thing I'm going to get into in a little bit. <clears throat> I really don't see the point of it. I don't see a legitimate reason for a background check system when in all reality, we're dealing with incompetent government workers. I'm sorry, but if I give you, excuse me, if I give you my money for a gun, I don't want to sit here and be told, oh yeah, well, we'll get back to you with the answer of your background check, you know, in a couple days. No, 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 that's not what I want. I, I will sit there. You can tell me in the next 10, 15 minutes after, as long as the FDLE isn't super busy, they they should respond in 10 to 15 minutes. You can tell me, and then I'll go. It's not a big deal. You know what I mean? But my whole point is that we're dealing with a government that we know to be essentially incompetent. We've seen time and time again, whether it's state or federal government, where they have fallen short of what they're supposed to do. We've seen time and time again, we're simply beyond falling short of what they were supposed to do. Sometimes they exceed in things they weren't supposed to do. So it doesn't even make sense. It's almost like, it's kind of almost like the ATF in that way. But regardless, you know, <laughs> not here to talk about that. I already did a video talking about why we should disband the ATF. If you haven't seen that, check it out. Now, moving on to reason number two. Reason number two, I think, is a bigger deal. So some of y'all might be wondering, why did we even have a background check system implemented in the first place? A lot of people are going to argue, a lot of anti-gunners are going to argue, oh, well, the background check system has prevented so many criminals from getting guns. And that's where I disagree. That's what reason number two is. It hasn't stopped criminals from getting guns. Now, some of y'all might be wondering, oh, well, how can you prove that? Very easily. You guys know what strawman purchases are. Those are still very much so illegal. There's no denying that. However, am I saying that it doesn't happen? They definitely do happen. There are people that there are people that are prohibited possessors who have just given the money to somebody who's not, and they would go and get a gun. Bam. That's that's just getting one from the store. We're talking about just getting one from the store. Keep in mind, a lot of a lot of anti-gunners who try to support background checks. They're not sitting here understanding that, oh, well, the person isn't getting their gun legally. They're not getting their guns legally. Now, there are, of course, exceptions to the rule. Example, the Dylan Roof situation where they took too long to get back with an answer. So they, the, the shop at their own discretion was allowed to be like, here, you can take it. You're taking too long. You're good. Don't worry about it. Bam. So, of course, there are exceptions to the rule where it's like, hey, you know, technically some of these criminals did get their guns legally, but that doesn't change the general rule at hand, which is that a majority of criminals, they can't pass a background check. They can't. I mean, of course, you can lie on it, but once again, that's going about it in an illegal manner. None of them are, or excuse me, a majority of them are not getting their guns legally. 
It's either through a strawman purchase, it's through lying on a 4473, it's through stealing them, buying them on the streets. There are several ways that criminals are getting guns. It's not just, a, oh yeah, they go to the gun store and, you know, the background check system, it, it's just automatically pass, 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 pass. That is not how it works. If you've ever been in a gun store before, even for longer than 30 minutes, there's a good chance that you might see somebody who goes through a background check and they get denied or it's pending approval, whatever it is, it's, it's pending. It's not approved yet. You know, whatever it is, if you've been in a gun store for 30 minutes or longer, you will probably run across that once in a while. That's just how it is. So no, the background check system doesn't give pass, 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 like how these anti-gunners are thinking, uh, nor is it really preventing people from getting guns. It's weird because they like to say that the background check system isn't tight enough, meaning that they think that there should be more added to it. But they also say that, well, the background check system has prevented people from getting guns that shouldn't have guns. In the end, it, it doesn't add up. It really doesn't. Because in the end, once again, a majority of criminals are getting their guns in an illegal manner. They're not getting them through, oh, I'm going to go to the gun store, I'm going to pay, wait for the background check, and then I'm going to wait a few days and then get the gun. No, they're getting them through strawman purchases. They're stealing them. They're get, they're buying them off the streets. Ah, uh, geez, what else did I say? The strawman purchases. Oh yeah, they're lying on the forty four seventy three. My whole point is that, in what way, shape, or form has the background check system helped? It doesn't do any of that. It, it hasn't helped in any capacity. So therefore, why do we need it? And if you notice, both of these reasons I've already listed have been more than enough, in my opinion at least, hopefully more than enough in your guys' opinions as well, just to say we don't need them. Because the whole point of them was to help prevent criminals from getting guns. It's not doing that. Uh, criminals are getting their guns, not from going to a gun store. Now, moving moving on from number two, because I can tell number two is kind of eating at my skin here, because I'm like, uh, I want to keep going, but I'm not going to keep chewing your guys' heads off about it. So number three, and number three is the most important one of all, and I'm sure some of y'all have been waiting this entire time for me to say it. The Second Amendment says shall not be infringed. It is the only right that says that. It is the only right that says that. Therefore, adding a background check system in the first place is a major infringement. Now, some of y'all might be wondering, oh, why is that such a big infringement? Because, essentially speaking, what do we now have? We now have a system where people can, whether or not you want to admit it, they can decide whether or not somebody gets the right to defend their lives or even protect themselves from a tyrannical government, whether it be foreign or domestic. There are so many issues with that at hand. And some of y'all might be wondering, oh, well, you want prohibited possessors to own firearms? If, you, if, if they're a prohibited possessor, I don't think they should be out in a free world. Me personally speaking, I think if you did the crime, you do the time. Once you do the time, you're, you're good. You're done. You should have your rights back. That's how it should be. But guess what? If you think that we should release people and not give them their rights, don't release them in the first place. They already don't have rights in prison. So what's the point? Actually, they might have more rights in prison than they would on the outs if you think about it. Because if you, okay, I'm not going to get into this topic here because I know I'm going to piss off a lot of people and I can very easily call people who have been in prison. I can actually even reach out to some people who are still in prison, but that's not even the point. None of that matters. My whole point that I'm simply getting at here is if you think that they shouldn't be allowed to have their rights, such as voting, the Second Amendment, whatever, don't release them back into society. You believe that they are still a menace then. So therefore, adding a background check system as a whole seemed really kind of stupid, tedious, and another way to put it, I guess, is kind of a, a coward's way of not being able to tell these criminals, no, you did the crime, you have to do your time now. If you're gonna, if you're gonna show us you're a menace, you're not getting released. You know, uh, in the end, I, all in all, the background check system has been a, a very uh, conflicting issue among the Second Amendment community because a lot of people are going to sit here and claim, oh, no, we do need background checks. I don't want killers getting their hands on guns. So why are they out on the streets? Why aren't they in prison? Why do we release them? Keep them in prison. Then guess what? Killers won't be able to get their hands on guns because they will have been in prison, so they can't go and get guns. 
all in all, I can tell, once again, my, my brain is short-circuiting, trying not to just pop off about this particular topic. But in the end, the Second Amendment is the only right that says shall not be infringed. A background check system is one of the biggest infringements possible. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Now, with that being said, I think that about wraps it up for this video. I don't want to keep going in circles here, even though I can tell I started it. I had to stop myself there. But y'all make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that bell. When you hit that bell, hit all in. Whether or not you agree with me on these three reasons why I believe we shouldn't have a background check system, uh, whether or not you agree with me, I want you to comment down below why or why not. And then make sure to check out all my other videos. Y'all make sure to stay legal, stay safe, stay dangerous. Have a good one, y'all. Peace.